first question is, uh, how are you doing? Obviously, you've come back from injury recently. You've had uh, a couple of run-outs. How, how is it at the minute? I'm alive. Saw that, saw that match first and foremost. Um, nah, I'm all right. I'm just, as everyone says, they're all clichés, just buzzing to get back. Yeah, how difficult is it to get back to full match sharpness after you've been out for a little while? Uh, it's difficult because, as you know, the games are intense. It's fast. And uh, it's difficult. So just plod along and hopefully get there as quick as I can. And uh, FA Cup this weekend was something a bit different for the the players. How, how do you do you approach the cup? Um, like the same way you'd approach the league. It's important to win because, as they say, like the magic of the cup, you could get anyone in the next round. And we know, like first and foremost, we've got to look at this round because um, it's not going to be easy because. Um, the first thing that they're going to say is they've got nothing to lose. They're coming up against a good championship club, so all the pressure's on us. But is it? we just got to play well, and then we know we can win the game. Yeah, I was going to ask, I'm sorry, I, I, I take your point, right? they've got nothing to lose. But in a way, can you approach it the same way? It, you're not playing for three points. It's, it's, it's a cup tie. It's one you're expected to win. But can you... Perhaps play with a bit more freedom, perhaps, than you might normally? Depends how you approach it. Every club is different, every player is different, but for I know for a lot of us, winning is everything. So whether it's in the league, whether it's in the cup, winning is everything. So we're going to approach it exactly the same way we'd approach any game, and that's to win. And, and what's, obviously, you came back from the World Cup, the results have been a little bit mixed, uh, haven't they? You've got, got a couple of draws. What's the feeling among the the squad about the way you're playing at the moment? We're still all right. That's football. Like, uh, form fluctuates with every single player, every single club. And I'm sure it shouldn't be too long before we're all back fully, fully fire and hopefully getting some wins under our belts. I guess the scoring goals. Um, and as, as as a wing back, I know your, your opposite wing back scored, of course, against Bristol City. But do you feel some responsibility to try and, and create chances and, and get that, that goal scoring going again for the team? Um, um, yeah, I know because at the same, I want to score because it's been a while since I scored, and a bit as a score, so it's given me a bit of inspiration. But. I just want the team to win. I just want to play well, and then uh, we get three points. It's not. I don't feel like it's about just me individually, because uh, at the end of the day, I'm an individual in a team. So uh, I just want us to win. And uh, you could come across Kyle's uh, brother. He might be playing on on the left side of of defence. Callum, that's going to be a strange one, isn't it? Yeah, I might give him a kick because he looks too much like Fads. <laughs> But nah, it's, uh, it's just football. You come up against uh, people's family, you come up against your own friends, other people's friends. So it's just uh, it's just another game at the end of the day. And there will be a bit of a cup tie atmosphere there. I think we've got 4,500 Wrexham fans expected. Will that, will that inspire you? Um, they won't be gunning for us, so uh, I don't know if it will inspire me, but nah, it's just another game. We've had a four and a half travelling fans before so um, we just got to quiet their crowd as quickly as possible and um, get to playing our football